video is brought to you by Let's Synthesize Academy, the number one place for practice-oriented courses for serious music producers. Hey, the last one here, welcome to the newest Synthesize, whatever day, it doesn't really matter from now on. But what does matter is that I found an instrument that boosted my creativity. Just let me show it to you. So once again, you can find this project, this whole project under my Patreon. And if you want to dig deeper into production, I have an academy for awesome starts to finish courses. But right now, let's jump into it. Okay, so here is a groove once again. So I added this group to last week's groove. And I so love this because this is a very simple thing. And honestly, CR8 from Waves is my favorite creative tool from now on. And simply because of one thing I'm going to show you in a second. But before we jump into it, let me show you what I fed it with. So this is that sound that I made for a techno project. Pretty nice and very heavy techno-ish kind of thing. So I loaded it into CR8 and this is what came out. And it plays so well with the other basses. Especially with the chords. I love it. Okay, so without further ado, let me jump into CR8 and let me show you what I did here. So I have three layers and the main layer is the first one. And it's so cool as you see, because we have several warping modes. I think these are warping modes coming from Simpler. I think Waves took the inspiration from Ableton Simpler, but these are a little different. And with the melodic thing, I think what it does is tries to even out the frequencies of the grains. I think this is what is happening in the engine. But what is more important for me is what you can do with the speed. So such a cool thing so if you slow it down or if you speed it up you have like little different sounds and that is so cool i added also unison to get rid of the grainy sound and make it a lot more organic the next thing that i added is a transient it's just a very tiny sound to use it as a transient really and another layer for a kind of little harsher sound. And again, the same thing happens. I use the voice. If you play with the speed, it's ridiculous what you can do with it. And I so love it. So basically these are the things that I added here to form this kind of sound from this techno sound. It's completely different and it plays so well with the dubstep thing that I made. And I bet you will be able to do a lot more with this. And I wanted to see your results and see your ideas in the comment section below. Okay, so this was it. And if you want to download this project, check my Patreon and my Academy. If you want to boost your production skills, I was a Larson. See you guys next time. Peace.